When JCB, the global construction giant, decided to build a golf course in the grounds of the company's headquarters, they were clear on one thing. They wanted nothing but the best. This was to be an international showcase for the brand, and the course needed to impress the world. The architect, Robin Heisman, of European Golf Design, was given the task of creating a course capable of hosting golf's very best, while being playable for mere mortals too. The result is one of the finest courses built in Britain for many years. This is every hole at the JCB Golf and Country Club. Choosing your tees with care at the JCB is the key to enjoying your round, but everyone should go to the back set on the first hole. The 200 yard carry is visually intimidating and most golfers will play safe towards the bunker in the middle of the fairway, leaving a mid-iron into the green. However, those brave enough to go long down the left side will be rewarded with a shorter iron in. The green is well defended. If you come up short of a left hand pin, you're likely to roll back towards the water, while bunkers are the challenge when the pin is on the right. The first hole gives you a good taste of what's to come. This is a course which is visually stunning, where hazards abound, and a good golfing brain is needed to plot your way around. Buckle in and enjoy the ride. The JCB is long, but like all good courses, there are some half holes too. The second poses a question from the tee. Most will lay up short of the centre bunker, and from there it's a short iron into this two-tiered green. But there's another option. For big hitters, a long drive on the right-hand side can take a favourable bounce down the chute to the putting surface, bringing an eagle opportunity into play. From the third tee, the safe shot is down the middle of the fairway. The aggressive line is over the bunkers on the left. This hole has one of the most acute dog legs you will find on any golf course. Only the very longest hitters will be able to think about going for the green in two. For the rest of us, a precise layup is important. While the hole itself sweeps from right to left, the green complex moves the other way. The mound to the left and a spine running down the centre of the green will push balls towards the lovingly restored 18th century Eutoxeter Canal. The JCB is a well-bunkered golf course, but you won't find any on the fourth hole. Heisman's tribute to Willie Park Jr.'s second at Huntercombe. The blind tee shot requires you to commit to your line off the tee, and then it's all about the approach. The ball will feed in from the right-hand side to this rolling, three-tiered putting surface. With runoffs on all sides, missing the green could have quite a cost. The first par three comes at the fifth hole. It's a long iron in for most, and there's a lot of dead ground over the bunker short of the green, so don't let that deceive you. Your ball will move from right to left when it hits the ground, but beware the bunker to the right and water long. While the sixth could be described as a short par five by modern standards, it's still a real test. The hole winds uphill, first from right to left and then from left to right. Longer hitters will be tempted to carry the bunkers on the left and then go for it in two. For those playing it as a conventional par five, the layup needs real precision, with a set of bunkers waiting on the right and another short. The seventh is a long par four, but it's not a hole which just rewards brawn. The reverse cambered fairway means that the key is to just carry the two bunkers on the inside of the dog leg. The ball will then run down the left-hand side and open up the angle to the green. Drive too far though, and you may bound into the rough beyond, bringing the cross bunkers short into play. Of course, you could drive safely away from the bunkers on the tee, but that may turn the hole into a par five for many. Position is the key to scoring well on the eighth hole. Your tee shot needs to stay well away from the right-hand side or you find trees. You'll be rewarded for driving as tight as you can past the bunker on the left of the fairway. This will give you a good line into the narrowest green on the course. It really is a wonderful setting for a hole, which once again will suit the thinking golfer who can plot his way around. While the JCB is a new course, the ninth feels like it's been there forever. 
The tranquil setting within a mature arboretum makes this one of the truly special halls on the estate. Choosing the right club, allowing for the drop in elevation, is the key to avoiding water and sand and giving yourself a birdie putt. You'll rarely see as testing a par 5 as the 10th hole. From the tee, a long hit over the bunker on the left is needed to give you the best line for your second. Virtually everyone will be laying up. Left of the big tree is a safe play, but bunkers abound. If you're bold and go down the right, you'll be rewarded with the best line in. It may be a bit of a cliche, but 5 is a good score for anyone on this monster of a hole. Once you get over the fescue grass, the 11th at the JCB could be considered an homage to Augusta. From the tee, you will have the choice of how much of the inside corner of this dog leg to cut off. If you're bold and go over the bunker on the right, you'll just have a wedge in, but go too far right and the punishment is severe. Correct clubbing with your approach is vital. Alders Brook, short of the narrow green, will gobble up many a ball, but there are problems long too. Regardless of the tee you're playing from, you'll be faced with the same dilemma on this short par 4. Do you go for the green in one and risk bringing the brook to the right into play, or lay up to the left and trust your wedge to get the birdie? The JCB course may have been built for tournament play, but holes like this ensure it will challenge and thrill golfers of all levels. The last of the par 5s comes at the 13th. Water is one of the defining features of this hole. For most of us, a tee shot to the right of the two trees is a safe play. Longer hitters will go through the gap to the left. From there, it's either 250 yards of carry over the water to attack the green with your second shot, or more likely a layup down the ribbon of fairway on the left. The tiered green and surrounding mounds will push everything towards the water, so once again there's no time to relax until you're safely in the hole. The 14th is a long uphill par 3 which plays more than its yardage. You need to carry the well positioned bunkers from the tee but pay careful attention to where the pin is. The 200 foot green is the longest putting surface on the course with three tiers. Hitting the right one is absolutely key to scoring well. You're greeted with a magnificent view of brilliant white sand set against a verdant green fairway from the 15th tee. Longer hitters will be tempted to cut off the corner of the dog leg on the left, while shorter hitters will play safe to the right. The green slopes away from the line of play and narrows as it goes further back, this makes a rear pin position a real challenge to get to and hold. Throughout the course, Heisman gives the golfer options, and the 16th is no exception. The fairway runs out at 250 yards before starting up again around the dog leg to the right. Players can lay up short of the bunkers from the tee, leaving a medium iron in, or take on the carry over the corner. This may be the last real birdie chance for many, as the next two holes bring one of the most demanding finishes in all of British golf. Comparisons with sawgrass may be inevitable on the 17th hole, but let there be no doubt, the JCB's 17th is by far the tougher. At 255 yards from the back tees, this is a hole which will require flawless execution to hit the putting surface. Clubbing is another challenge. With a 30 meter drop, the hole will play shorter than the yardage. It's a hole that will thrill every golfer who sees it and stick in the mind forever. The 18th is a fitting finale to the JCB Golf and Country Club. It's a long haul sweeping up the hill and round to the left. It may be a par 4 on the card, but it'll play as a 5 for many. 
Centerline bunkers lie in wait if you hit it straight from the tee, and then again for the last 100 yards into the green. Longer hitters will hug the left from the tee to give a chance of getting up in two. The wonderful three-tiered 18th green is sure to see many dramatic finishes in the years ahead. Robin Heisman has built a worthy canvas for the world's greatest golfers. When they come, they'll find a challenge with nuances beyond those of most modern courses. This is a course that both tests and rewards, where the excellence of presentation is thankfully matched by the quality of design. If you're lucky enough to play here, you'll have an experience that will stay with you for a very long time.